Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Chris, your dad next door. Thanks for checking out this video here today. We're going to be taking a quick look at how to add music or sound files to specific scenes that'll play whenever you do your transitions or whenever you enter into a scene and it'll play through. Um, this was brought to my attention. Somebody was looking to add music just to their start and ending scenes. So I'm going to go ahead and take that method. Um, I will be using stream elements here today, but this application would apply to Streamlabs or just standard OBS studio as well. So let's go ahead and check that out and see how this is done. Also, I stream every Tuesday on Twitch. Uh, while I'm online, I answer tech questions or streaming questions for people who have them. Uh, if you want to come in there and chat with me then, that's a great opportunity. Uh, I stream every Tuesday uh, at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then uh, additionally, I stream every other Friday for the entire day. So those are opportunities to come chat, hang out and chat. Um, or you can hit me up in my Discord at any time. Those, those links are down in the description of this video. So let's move on and get this uh, audio file taken care of. Now, before we get too far into this, we want to we want to make sure that we have the right prerequisites set up. So one of the one of the things to make the solution work is that we need to have VLC media player installed. Uh, VLC is a free uh, movie sound uh, basically plays all kinds of media files, basically anything. It's one of the most robust that are freeware today. Um, so you have to go and get this executable. I will provide a link to that in the description of the video. Um, and you want to make sure you get the same version as your OBS Studio, either 32-bit or 64. I believe that most, most studios today are 64-bit, so I, I mean, I had no issues getting the 64. I didn't test the 32-bit for the purpose of this, but um, I believe there was a discussion about how it has to match whatever um, processor platform that you that you are, or uh, operating system platform that you're running. Um, these additional files here, you need to have your media files that you want to play locally. So these additional files here I got off of YouTube's uh, free distribution library. Uh, I will provide a link to that as well. Um, basically, YouTube provides this full list of free music, and they're very simple songs, kind of background. They're, they're perfectly designed for background music and things like that. Um, I would suggest you take a look at that and see if there's anything available that fits, your, uh, fits what you want for your type of, uh, your type of display or, or your type of scene. So I just grabbed six or seven of these so that way we could do this test today. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get moving on into the, uh, into the studio window. So again, I'm using a variation of OBS Live here and I have created uh, just a simple starting scene, nothing on it or anything like that. Um, so I have my testing scene, there's just text on the front there and I wanna add some sound to it. So I wanna make sure that as soon as I start going live, there's some background music playing there. And then when I transition out to my opening scene or my gaming scene or whatever it is, it automatically cuts it off. So what we're gonna do, or how we're gonna, how we're gonna make that happen, is we're gonna to go to add a new source. We're gonna to go to VLC video source. So even though we're not doing a video, it still operates the same. We will create new. And when this window opens up, you'll have the opportunity to uh, basically add any videos you want to this, but what we're going to be doing here today is just going add. Um, I'm going to add files. Go to where I had those music files saved. Here's those six. Yeah, here's Steam. Open. It automatically added all six of those files. I wanted to loop my playlist and shuffle my playlist just for the opportunity that you don't want it always to be the same. You want to kind of give it a little flip there. Um, caching, I wouldn't mess with any of this. You don't have any subtitles since it's not a video file. And we're just going to hit OK. So now that we've added it, we've got to determine how do we know it's playing, right? We don't hear anything yet, but what's going on? So in order to determine that it's actually playing right now, we go over to this mixer feature. So you can see your different sound mixtures and you can see right in here that your video source is playing and it's operating right now. So, but we're not, we're not hearing it. So why aren't we hearing it? That's because right now it is being uh, pushed only out to the recording portion. So in order to test that we're making sure that the sound is playing properly, you go into advanced, you can go into advanced audio properties. I'm gonna put my headphones on real fast and you can go here and set monitor and output and now we can hear the track play so, and then we can adjust our volume to determine how loud it's going to sound in our stream or our scene and then we can go back to monitor off 
and now it no longer plays for us, but it'll be playing output to the stream. Then once you go to change any of your scenes, I'm just going to select any different one here. Go with top just for fun. It will shift and now your source is gone and it has stopped playing. Go back to your scene and then you use right here back and it starts all over again. So it's actually a really simple solution as long as you have some audio files locally to work with. Um, one thing to consider is if you use this source for your intro, outro, and intermission, you can actually apply it, apply the same source to all three of them, and that way it kind of keeps consistency with the files that it's playing or looping. So I hope this video was a quick and easy solution for you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, please post them in the comment section of this video. We'll give you the or I'll take the opportunity to reply to anybody. Um, I try to, I try to respond to every comment that I get. So please feel free to put it down there. Give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, thumbs down. If you don't tell me what I could do better for you, or what I could make a little easier. Um, if you have any other tech tips or things that you want to get solved, please again, post them in the comments and I will try to see if I can sort through this, uh, OBS environment or the streaming features and try to figure out what the best solution is for you. So please, uh, Check in next time. Come find me on Twitch, and we will see you guys next time. This is Chris, your dad next door, signing out.